cell phone gets a new parent. The reality is, there's no more human connection. When was the last time you talked to your child? Do you know your child's favorite color? Do you know your child's teachers? Do you know the principal? Do you know the physical education teacher? Do you know who your kid be talking to on the internet when they're in a, the room by themselves? Do you really know? Is they talking to their friend from school or is they talking to Michael Smith, 39-year-old career criminal pedophile? Cell phone gives the new parents. You buy them the new iPhone, you sit back, you relax. Because most of the adults now is out here reliving their second childhood. And they're trying to figure out life themselves because a lot of people had their children when they was young or the father's not there, the mom is always working. So we, the phone, the phone is the parent. We live in a world now where we first, we listen with our eyes, then we listen with our ears. Imagine what your children is listening to when you're not around. Imagine that. Just think about it. How many of y'all is so much in a rush to buy the kid a new phone because it's the babysitter? But everything that you're not teaching your child, they're learning from here. And you never even met their teachers before. You never met the porn site. You never met the people that's bullying them on Instagram. You never met all the different influences coming from the rappers, the IG models, all the ideas that they're processing in their mind based off of your, your lack of parenting. But when things go wrong, you, why, why is you doing this? Ask yourself, do you even know your child? Sari know your child more than you do. The cell phone is a new parent. So now what you need to start doing is figuring out how you're going to have communication with your child. Because the world is having communication with your child. When was the last time you went to a school meeting? When was the last time you went to a game? Even if your child is into human contact, because a lot of children disconnected themselves from the human, human connection. We don't believe in that no more. The adults don't believe in that no more. So where do we go tomorrow? You must ask yourself that. Do you go talk to them? Or is this going to fall on deaf ears and then tomorrow's going to come and Christmas is coming? They're going to get the new 13. If you're not Android, you're going to get them a new phone. They're going to get it. Think about that. Just ask yourself the truest question. Do you know your kid's favorite color? Do you know your kid's best Do you know who your kid sit with at the lunch table? Name three teachers. Think about that. When was the last time you made a meal for your kid? Because the only people that make meal for your kid is Uber Eats, DoorDash. Because you don't even make meals for yourself. That's who make meals for you. The robots run humans now. Now we're going to go to the adult. The iPhone is a new parent. The phone is a new parent. Whatever's Android, iPhone, whatever. But when is we going to disconnect enough in order to reconnect with the human connection and talk to people in real life? Think about that. When was the last time you just went out and you didn't do like this? You didn't just keep checking your phone? When was the last time you was present when you was on a date? Ask yourself that. Are you in control? Are the robots in control? You must really ask yourself that. And some of us is on technology and social media for no reason. We just there to be entertained, which is understandable, because just like Netflix, Instagram is the same thing as Netflix is a bunch of entertainment. You go on Instagram, you got comedy. You got magic. The reason I say magic, because Instagram is filled with a lot of illusions. You got a lot of illusionists on there. But we're fascinated by it, so we stay there. And while you have illusionists, you have comedy, you have entertainment or whatever, you also have big business going on in there. And you got people that's running circles around you, and they're getting extremely successful. 
How is you using your time on technology? Because it's coming to a point where this phone right here is all of our mommies and daddies. But it's going to affect the kids the worst. Before we know it, we're going to have specialists on social media disorders and depression. That's happening now. It's not just the kids that get frustrated when they post a picture and they don't get likes. It's also the adults. You got this new, you got your new get up, the new dress, the new shoes, the new bag, and you post it, and nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. Because technology has taught us to run away from the traumas of our upbringing and the reality of our journey, the reality of our life. Everybody is masking and putting Band-Aids on it. The trauma. You can't caress trauma, you can't finesse trauma, you gotta address trauma. But this right here, it made us forget all that. This right here, this pacifier, this escape, added to the things that we put on, that we wear, in order to be accepted by a bunch of people that we might don't even meet, that don't even know us, the power of a comment. I've seen people break down from comments from people that they never will even meet in their life, behind fake pages. Who are your parents? And are you being parents to the children that you bring into this world? That's the reality of this. I look. You see people. When was the last time you took your child to the park? When was the last time you took your child on a date? I know you went to a lot of dates. When was the last time you took your child? I know you went to Miami a thousand times. Did you take your kid to Orlando, Florida? Ask yourself that. When did you spend real time with your child? Ask yourself that. And now we're living in a time where people is reliving their second child, like I spoke before, and a lot of us adults to be realistic. And I push people to the extreme, that's what I do, but some of us gotta know when to put our dreams on pause in order for our children to have one. That's the reality of this. But how many are willing to do that in this selfish world where everything is competition and everything is battling? Because right now we live in a world where everybody is trying to make up for the vacancies of their upbringing. Everything that they didn't have, everything that they couldn't do, everything that they couldn't be. Right now is a magical time where you could go on an app and just like the army, you could be all you can be. Cell phones is the new parents. But the reality is, if we don't become parents, and we don't, as adults, know who to identify who our parents is, it's not technology, it's humans. Humans run the planet Earth, but it's looking like the technology is. And we become enslaved to technology to where as though we're losing ourselves. We better figure it out before it's too late. And you better go talk to your child and really find out what's really going on. Because if you don't raise your child, yes, sir. this will raise your child, the phone. And if the phone raise your child, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. You know, as you're growing up as a child, you're extremely impressionable. Extremely impressionable. Because I'm looking at a room filled with adults and there's a bunch of y'all that's extremely impressionable. Your whole life dictate off of is dictated off of what people do on social media. And like I said, I was talking to these brothers from Ernie and Leisure, and I said, in the black community, social media, the comments from social media and approval of social media is fear more than God in the black community. You fear what people think about you more and what people are going to say and what you post do you fear was in the Bible and the Quran. 
Think about that. At the end of the day, the phone is the new parent. But when is we going to start being parents? And when is we going to be able to identify who our parents is and who's leading us? Humans run the world, but it's looking like we're losing the technology. Thank you.